Hey, this is Rob. I'm going to show you how we can uh, take that 3D model that we made earlier and laser cut all of its components. So we have our arm here and a spacer and the base and the wheel and all those things could be laser cut from planar material and then um, there are two or three components that are actually like dowels. Maybe they're acrylic rod or wood dowels or something. So um, this model isn't totally complete because if we held it up this thing would fall off but it's complete enough to actually see it work and um, to if we were to sit it down on the table so let's just get to the to the point where we could laser cut all these parts so one of the first things we um, th the first thing is we it would be great if we could just right click on a profile and export it to a DXF but we found that's not the case so we need to uh, actually have a, a sketch that we can export if we look at our original sketch, we could export that as a DXF, but <clears throat> it would have a lot of lines on it that aren't necessary. So maybe the best thing to do is to just make new sketches for each component. So I'm going to hit Sketch, Create Sketch, and do it on the top work plane. And I'm going to just include one of those components. So right here, I've just chosen Bodies, and if I click, uh, that should include... Um, it'll, it'll project all of the information from that body into my new sketch. So if I get rid of the arm uh, and all of this other stuff, I can see that what I'm left with is just that sketch. So I'll hit stop sketch. It's good. And uh, I can even rename it. And I'd have to do this for all the other parts too. So I will include some other ones like uh, the wheel. <coughs> So let's turn off that old sketch, and for the wheel, I will just do the same thing. Make a sketch, make it on the uh, top work plane. Sorry, I'm still in the old sketch, I guess. So I'll make a sketch, do it on the top work plane, and I will uh, turn off that old one. I'll go to Sketch, Project, and just click on this body, hit OK, and... That's the end of that one. Stop sketch. And uh, sorry, I keep going back into it when I'm trying to rename it. So this is the wheel sketch. And hit stop sketch. So <clears throat> you do this for each of the pieces, which would be the base, <clears throat> the arm, the wheel, and our spacer. And once we have those four, then uh, we could export each one of them individually. So I would right click on arm sketch and save as DXF save it with some name and maybe include the units in the file name so you can remember because when you go into Illustrator and import it you do have to uh, go into the options for the import and select uh, or actually just type in that one unit equals one millimeter. If you're using inches here you'd have to make sure it says one unit equals one inch and that way it's the right scale. So. Um, this all works, and a really nice thing about this that we didn't explore in class is if I go back to my original sketch and edit it, I've gone back in time all the way to the beginning of the timeline, and I could do something like actually make this slot a, a bunch longer. When I hit stop sketch, it brings me all the way back to the beginning of to the end of the timeline, and all of these operations have been changed to reflect that change in the original sketch that they're based on. So when I turn everything on, uh, we can see that my actual uh, component for the arm has a longer uh, a longer slot, and so does my uh, arm sketch that I created. So since the the arm component is based on the original sketch that I made to determine all my geometry. And the arm sketch I just made starts out by projecting uh, the arm body onto it. it. All those changes get propagated. So one really nice thing about uh, doing this, having a, an individual sketch for each uh, object that you want to laser cut, is that as I make changes to the model, these sketches actually uh, adjust accordingly. So if I made that crank fatter, uh, that, that crank arm fatter, then uh, I would I would see that reflected in this sketch, and all I'd have to do is save as DXF again to laser cut it a second time.